Hi folks, my name is David G. I'm a product manager over at Senadia. This video is about bring your own NATs, a cluster that you have either on premises or in the cloud, and it's connecting that to our cloud for the purposes of management and observability. Now this is great for developers, it's great for operations. It gives you one system to manage your cluster, even though it's on your system. You can do that from your phone, you can do that from your corporate laptop. It's one place, you don't need the NSC tools and the NATS tools to be able to look after that cluster. That's pretty cool. So what does it give you? It gives you user and account management. It gives you Jetstream asset management, that is KV, it's object, it's streaming. It gives you observability, it gives you monitoring uh, capabilities, and as we roll out more features as well, you'll gain access to advanced analytics, and we've got a lot more on the way. So how do we connect your system that's either in your data center or your private cloud to Senadia Cloud? Well, first of all, the system needs to be able to talk across the internet. So first and foremost, it needs internet access outbound. Then you download a little agent and the agent lives next to your NATS cluster. It could be on the same machines, could be on a different machines, providing it's on the same network, that is fine. We configure the agent and then the agent uh, basically connects up to uh, our cloud. Now, you have to onboard your system first onto Synadia Cloud. Then you configure the agent and you stand the agent up either in a Docker container or systemd service and you are connected. You're going to need a Synadia Cloud account. If you don't have one, sign up and then add on the BYON uh, add-on onto that account. So I'm going to head over right now to a cloud account that I've already have set up. And it's just got the NGS system on, which is the, uh, the NAS, uh, basically SaaS in the background. But I don't want to use that. I want to bring in my own system. So I'm going to import a system. Now, to do that, we need a handful of things. We need the operator jot. This is a decentralized auth mode system. So we need the operator jot. We need the operator signing key. We need the system account jot and the system account signing key. So four things to be able to do that. But before we configure that, make sure you get the private link agent from uh, this site here. So this is github.com forward slash senadia hyphen IO forward slash private hyphen link and then forward slash releases. You can grab the latest release set for your target machine. The links will be in the notes, by the way, uh, underneath. So if you didn't catch that, just look below this link and the docs and everything else will be there. We've also got this handy guide just in case you don't catch what I'm actually doing. Uh, this is docs.synedia.com forward slash platform forward slash control hyphen plane forward slash guides forward slash system. It's a lot of slashes. Uh, and here it talks you through basically getting the jots and getting the signing keys for the system or you could use the syn cp uh, CLI tool to be able to do that. So let's go ahead and grab the information we need. So I'm going to do this the, the hard way, right? So the first thing we need is the operator. And I'm going to get that. I'm going to give it the raw tag. This is my operator shot. Now, don't worry if you're thinking, hey, Dave, you're leaking some stuff. It's fine. It's a demo. This will get destroyed shortly after the video. I am not concerned. The next thing to do is I want information for the account. Uh, so I'm going to do account. This is great. That's already there. So this is my system account. Jot. Now you'll notice I've just skipped ahead here. I've not actually put in the signing keys yet. That's because we can get the signing keys in one command, which I'm going to do next. And that is via the NSC list keys command and account sys show seeds. Now this is my private key for, for this um, account, right? So this is a private signing key. I'm going to go up here, I'm going to copy and paste this in, and then we have a signing key for the system account. Uh, and we're going to drop that into there. Now that in theory is all I need to onboard. And then what it does, the UI generates a link. So this is a private link, uh, provides a token for connectivity, and then it requires the location on your network of your system. So I'm going to do that. Now what I'm going to head over is I'm going to stand the actual the NAS system up with the configuration to bring it online, clear down the command um, console, and then I'm going to make sure that I complete the required inputs. And it's not HTTP, it's NAS colon forward slash and it's actually running on my local machine give it the port and that's not worked why has that not 
worked. I don't actually know why that's not worked. Oh, there we go. Is there was a space after the the backslash. So there we go. So Nadia private link has started. Great. Now what happens when we go here? Go to overview. The system should be connected up. And we can see that the node is online. We can now see the tags. So these tags have come from the configuration that is on the NAT server. You'll notice I didn't do anything with that. That's straight from my machine. Uh, and then we have the ability here to check out the connections. Uh, we can see the SCP agents running now connected to my node. Uh, we can manage account and we can deal with analytics. Uh, we can also deal with settings and everything else from this point onwards. So hopefully you found that useful. You found it easy. Not bad, eh? We take your cluster, we put it onto Sanity Cloud, now you've got one place to manage not only your cloud resources, but also your own clusters. If you have any questions about this, you can put them on the video underneath. We'll keep an eye out for those. You could also head on to the NAT Slack and ask us on there. We all hang out on the NAT's IO Slack. Or you can head over to Sanity.com and check out the BYON feature along with Sanity Cloud and Sanity Platform. Take care.